All right, so we got different kinds of polymer plates. I got Sculpey, Fimo, and I think maybe another brand in here somewhere. But we're gonna take these and make this on all of these. And we're also gonna use, these are fondant um, molds. I found these at Michael's. Same thing with this, as well as this. So just remember, once you use these for polymer clay, you cannot use them for food. This is the lion paw. Hopefully that gets cleaned up, but this is the lion paw. And this is called an Irish deep dish. So it's two different shells for two different things. Again, I'm using a parchment paper, that way the clay does not stick to my work surface. So now we just kind of got to plan how we're going to do this. Do that, like that. Yellow. Yellow is a good one. Shut off with something bright. My package instructions out there. These little snack bags are great. I love them. We may or may not end up using this. We'll try it. I'll do a small section, see how it turns out. Yeah, it's gonna be a little bit difficult. I won't use that one. To make the coral, I'm just going to take a rope of yellow clay, just kind of taper it into a wider tube. Let's see how we want this. You just keep doing that until you're happy with the design. You just kind of design it however you want. So now we're just going to go ahead and do the blending. So I have the ball ones and like the soft tip ones. And we'll try them both. See which one does best. So they have two different sizes. We got the big side and then a little ball. I think before I cut myself. And it's okay to look a little bit rough. Because this is supposed to be a coral. It's not supposed to be perfectly smooth. If you don't have a baller tool, you can use the end of a paintbrush. That works too. So I got it pretty much textured. I use that to scrape up, you know, any kind of edges. So say like this edge right here. 
hold it down. Still kind of shape it. Like that. So that's what that's for. Alright, so we are done with the yellow a little bit. Let's go some blue. Try some blue. Maybe we'll try some blue. I'm getting it open. Flatten them out a little bit on the top. Do one more section. Do a smaller piece. Now with that, you do not want to blend that in. So what you're going to do, you're going to take a bigger ball. If you can't find one, just use the end of your scraper. You're just going to push them in. And they don't have to be perfect circles either. This is nature. Nature is not perfect. If it was, it'd be boring. pushing these I would actually recommend baking in between stages, which I might end up doing that. I've never baked a shell in the oven before, so this should be fun. So now we're going to make some sand dollars. I'm going to use the white. Good warmed up. Once you're happy with that, off a part of it. And 
This is the same stuff I made the Chinese lanterns out of. That's like the stick to you. Got clay all over me. You cut your excess. Don't try and cut the mold or yourself. Sit up there. Oh, it's green. What do you green? This is why you clean off your knife. See? No, this isn't from the clay. This is from the Chinese box when they wiped off the brush. So no, the clay will not stain everything this bad. So yeah, don't worry about that. This is from the paint. So the next thing we're going to do is use this bright green I have out already, this pistachio green, and we are going to just make some sea anemone. And take your snake and just cut it at various lengths. 
chip out. deep into this. Let's go ahead and put it on there. So we're going to glue it all in this area. Bright orange. These are going to be the little tubes. Mm 
and they can be either in groups or standalone. We might be doing a little bit of both. So you get it nice and warmed up, cut a section. The ball doesn't have to be very big. But you kind of want it even. So you want like a, kind of like that. Now flatten the bottom. I'm gonna stick that right here. thing to do that's not big enough and neither is the biggest one that I have. So what you're going to do, you're going to take the tip of your brush, you're going to hold on to these female effects just for the lighter color we're going to try and do this and then the blue for the rest of it throughout so we'll see how this works Oh, it was. It was right there. I don't even need this. Gee, Jill, you need to package first. Kind of turned out like the picture. It helps I uncapped it first, wouldn't it? I 
Okay, so we baked it according to the package instructions. So, just want to let you know it's not too floppy. Nothing's falling off. 